Hey what is up YouTube, and today we have some exciting news to talk about. Earlier this morning, Apple has now enabled Apple Pay Cash on iOS 11.2 Developer Beta 2. Now for those of you who don't remember, Apple Pay Cash is essentially the peer-to-peer -peer Apple Payments that is going to be used within the Messages app. And so for today's video, I'm going to do a hands-on demonstration of how you set up Apple Pay Cash for the first time ever, adding cards to your wallet, and then later in this video I'm going to demonstrate actually sending a payment from one device to another or say from your account to a friend's account anyway let's get started so the very first thing that you need to do to enable Apple Pay Cash is A, you first need to be running iOS 11.2 Beta 2. Now if you are already running this software, you will immediately see Apple Pay Cash available for you down in the apps selector within the Messages app. There is no additional update required if you are on the latest developer beta of iOS 11.2. That being said, if you just jump into the Messages app, select the apps, and then go to Apple Pay, you will immediately see that you cannot receive and send payments. That is because Apple Pay Cash is not set up. And so before you actually can send payments, we're going to actually have to go into the Wallet app or the Settings app and set up Apple Pay Cash. Now, if for any reason you don't see the Apple Pay Cash card here, you will actually have to go into the Settings app, navigate to Wallet and Apple Pay, and then enable Apple Pay Cash up in the top. And again, when you set up Apple Pay Cash and continue through the on-screen steps, it will immediately prompt you after the terms and conditions to upgrade your account security if you do not have two-factor authentication currently enabled on your Apple ID. And so once you have enabled two-factor authentication, the very last step is to enter the passcode of your iPhone to finish the setup process. And so once your account security has been upgraded, you will now be able to add cards to your Apple Pay Cash account. And so like I said, the next step is to add a credit or debit card. And just as a fair warning, if you use a credit card, just like the similar services like Venmo, it will charge a 3% fee. And so if you already have your debit or credit card set up within the wallet app, adding it to Apple Pay Cash is as simple as clicking add this card. But I just wanted to say real quickly, if you have yet to add your debit card to the wallet app before you add a balance to your Apple Pay card, you can easily add your debit card as well. And you can do that by following the on-screen instructions. I will have it blurred out here as I don't want you guys to see my card number, but essentially you put the card in front of the iPhone. It will collect as many details as it can, and then you will just be required to go in and enter the details that it did not grab for itself but essentially it will go through the process now of setting up your card within the wallet app and then it will be available to add a balance to your Apple Pay cash card as well so now it says Apple Pay cash is ready for Apple Pay and I found out this is actually not required but one thing you can do is add a balance to your card and it will use the balance on your Apple Pay cash card before charging your credit or debit card so for this example I will add ten dollars to my card just to see what this process looks like and again on the iPhone 10 you will just double click the side button to enable Apple pay and once that comes up it will use face ID to process the payment and once it is done with the verification process it will add ten dollars to the balance of your Apple pay cash card funny enough it looks like my bank account gave me a notification and if I just hit done here you can see on the Apple pay cash card there is a balance of ten dollars and you can see the transaction noted right there anyway now that it is all set up you should be able to send and receive Apple cash payments to your friends that are running iOS 11.2 beta 2. Unfortunately, in this example above, currently, I'm trying to send a payment to myself, and pretty obviously you can't send an Apple payment to yourself, so that is why it is saying it is unavailable. So, for this demonstration, what I ended up having to do is to log into two Apple IDs, one on the right and one on the left, and that meant I had to go in and set up this entire process on a second Apple ID. I had to first install iOS 11.2 beta 2 onto the device on the left, I then had to add all my cards back into the wallet app, and lastly I had to enable two-factor authentication on my Apple ID, which I don't use too often. Now once that was all set up on both devices, I was then able to send Apple payments from one device to another using two Apple accounts. Now essentially you won't need two Apple accounts, obviously, it'll be yours and then you'll be sending it to your friends. But I hope as this tutorial illustrates, both parties will have to be running iOS 11.2 beta 2, and both parties will have to have their Apple Pay cash cards set up in advance. But now comes the fun and easy part. Within the Messages app, you simply click on the Apps button, Apple Pay will pop up, you will set an amount, and then you will click Pay. 
It will come up within the sending dialog box. You can add a quick message if you want. For this one, I think I'll just put it as test and then you can send it. On the iPhone 10, you will double click the side button to confirm the payment and then it will verify your face with face ID. And once that is done with the verification process, it will send your payment. And as you can see, it sent it on the right, it received it on the left and that is it. That is how simple Apple Pay is. Now, when you click on the Apple Pay on the left, it will come up showing that it has received the payment. It will now pull up the transaction. And as you can see on the left, my balance is now $1 up in the top right. So now that that is done, if I go on the right, you can see that my balance has now decreased to $9. So that was just a quick demonstration of how Apple Pay Cash works on the iPhone 10. On my left here, I have an iPhone 6S Plus, but Apple Pay Cash will work on any device running iOS 11.2 Beta 2. Anyway, for this last demonstration, I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like if I sent a payment higher than the amount that's currently on my cash card. So I only have $1 on the card if I send it for two when I click pay. And after I enter a description, again, I'll do test. When I go to send it, as you can see, $1 will come from my Apple Pay cash card and then the other dollar will come from my debit card. Anyway, it looks like the payment service is going to work very similar to Venmo's. In fact, I actually prefer this over Venmo as it will use your remaining Apple Pay cash card balance before going into your debit card. Now this is something a little bit different and compared to Venmo as if you try to send a higher payment that's higher than your Venmo current balance, it will charge the entire payment to your debit or credit card and it will not first use the remaining balance on your Venmo account. That is compared to this, as you can see, it will use the remainder that's on the Apple Pay cash card before tapping into your bank account. Now, one last thing I wanted to note about Apple Pay Cash is that money can only be sent in a one-on-one -on -one message, meaning Apple Pay Cash is not available in group iMessages. So the last thing I wanted to demonstrate was once you've received a payment from Apple Pay Cash, how to transfer that money to your bank account. And so as you can see, I have an $11 balance and I'm going to transfer that back to my bank. Now the first thing it's going to have me do is add my bank account with my routing and account numbers. And so I'm going to input those and I will be right back. So once you've inputted those and it'll actually ask you to verify it twice, all you have to do is simply add the amount you want to transfer back to your bank account and click transfer. Once that is done, you will double click to confirm. Just like sending the payment, it will verify the process with face ID and once that is all done it will say transferring to bank and it says it's going to take up to one to three business days to complete anyway that is how you get the balance from Apple Pay cash back to your bank account anyway it's looking like Apple is planning to introduce Apple Pay cash in iOS 11.2 and watch OS 4.2 when they are released to the public but like I said earlier in this video as for now iOS 11.2 is still in beta and is on its second beta so if you want to get this feature today you will have to upgrade to iOS 11.2 beta 2. Again, it was speculated that Apple Pay Cash was being used by internal Apple employees on iOS 11.1, and it's amazing to see that they have it ready for iOS 11.2. And furthermore, I'm amazed that developers get to test out this feature early by simply installing the beta. Now to get your hands on a copy of iOS 11.2 beta 2, all you have to do is download and install the beta configuration profile, which allows your device to see developer beta updates. Once it can see developer beta updates, you will simply head into settings, software update, and iOS 11.2 beta 2 will be waiting for you there to install. Now to get your hands on a copy of the certificate, you can easily register for the Apple beta testing program. It's free registration and it's done immediately. And once you're done with that, it will provide you access to the certificate to see beta updates. And iOS 11.2 beta 2 as well as Apple Pay Cash are both available for the public beta testing program. So there's no need for me to provide a download link in this video. I will however provide a link to Apple's beta testing program site so you can quickly register and get started. Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up this video on Apple Pay Cash. Let me know down in the description what you guys think of Apple Pay Cash and if you guys will be updating to iOS 11.2 Beta 2 just to get this new feature. It required a little bit of a setup process, but once that is done, it is super easy to use, guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be updated more often on when I release videos just like this one, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts and also subscribe to my channel. And if 
if this video helped you out, please give it a huge thumbs up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is Tony, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.